Hello, I've come to Millersdale to show you the Millersdale Mill Wheel. As you can see, not much left of it these days. And that's, that's people dump some rubbish in there. And that's the River Wye just there. I think maybe the water probably ran over that stone. And through there. been turned into some sort of gas house as you can see it has high level gas leak low level gas leak no gas detected the mill in this part of the Wye Valley was first recorded in the Doomsday book in 1086 there has probably been a mill on or near this site for about 900 years mills were usually owned by the local landowner. Tenants had to have their own corn ground in their landlord's mill and the miller took a proportion of the corn as payment. This often made millers unpopular as they were suspected of helping themselves to more than their due share. The mill was used to grind mill for animal fodder it belonged to the Devonshire estate and was worked by several generations of the Dankin family. They bought the freehold in the eight, late 18th century and later acquired a second mill near for grinding corn for flour. For many years the mill were run by two brothers. George ran the mill mill, quite a mouthful to say that, mill mill, that is M-E-A. L space M I L L <laughs> Mill Mill. Try and say that <laughs> really quick mucking it up like George ran the Mill M E A L Mill M I L L and Thomas ran the corn mill. It's better to, easy to say corn mill than mill mill. <laughs> Both died in the winter of 1912. 1913. By this time the mill mill was fast becoming commercially unviable, no longer able to compete with large steam or electric powered roller mills. It closed in 1920s and was moved in 1970s to allow the sinking of the borehole to supply water to the chapel and the thrift area. Here's a quick picture of, it, of what it probably would have looked like back in the day. The cast iron and wood wheel is about 13 feet 4 metres in diameter and 6 feet 1.8 metres wide. It was made by Thomas Cavill, a Sheffield millwright, in about 1860. It is a low breast undershot wheel. A dam was constructed across the river which forced most of the water down the mill let and into the wheel. Probably generated about six horsepower. It's turning weight of about three times, adding extra momentum once in motion. It was used to power two pairs of 54 inch 1.4 meters diameter Derbyshire gritstone grinding wheels. This is an old photograph of Millersdale in about 1905. The River Wye once powered many mills along its 20 mile. 32 kilometres course. There were textile mills, timber saw mills, bobbin mills making spools for the textile industry, a mill to saw and polish marble and even one which made combs for cow horns. As you can just about see the water used to run along there. You can see it's not very... all very overgrown. This is the inside of the wheel here. And there are lots of parts of it missing. There's only the top part of it still surviving. All the probably rotted away. You can see the holes just down there where the wood used to go. There you go. You can just, just see the holes just in the metal where the planks used to go. Just there. See there's one, two, three, just there. And few more going down there. You see there's a nice little bridge just there. And 
and a nice, another little hole there with nice some brickwork there. I'll show you around the other side. This is the back side of it. The stone wall there and then that's the and that all overgrown. And you can just hear the river's just over there, so you can hear it. So the water would have joined about another ten metres down that way. I'll show you that. And in a minute. Looks like the river comes down here, over this little bridge here, over there, and then joins onto the river over there. So I'm trying to find a better view from it. And that is where it rejoins the river. You can see by the wall there, it comes down the river wide there. Also, I just want to show you these two viaducts. with their big stone pillars. They used for railways and the railway closed in 1968. I shall now make my way up to the top. We're now standing on top of the both viaducts. The one you can see is a newer one and this is standing on is the older one. And you can tell by that steel and it's a very long way down the road and rivers just down there Now I'm trying to get that same photograph, that bit of rock in the corner, but I can't because all that trees and bushes have grown ever since, so it's very difficult. Like about 50, 60 years ago when that original black and white photo was taken, none of them trees were there, so I can't see down. All I can see is part of that bridge there, with the viaduct, shall I say, and the beginnings of the, the one nearest to you is the older one, and one where it's been painted recently, last year, is a slightly newer one. Oh, I'll show you my attempt at that same photograph, but it'd be very different because of the trees and bushes. Now that's my attempt at that photograph, but you can't really see much I said because of the trees and bushes. They built this line in 1863 originally and it had one viaduct and three platforms to the station. The Millersdale station only had three pl platforms but it came so busy in 1905 they added a second viaduct and in 1905 they added a second viaduct and two further platforms. So thanks for watching. Hope you like my little video here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.